Am I the asshole for forcing my parents to disown my gay brother? I, 28 female, hate my brother, male 30. He was always the golden child. I was a mistake to my parents because they never wanted a girl and I was fussy, so I annoyed my mother. My brother hated me too and kept telling lies to my parents about me. If he stole something, he would blame me and they believed him. He sabotaged all of my relationships. He's bullied me. He forced my friends against me. My parents always took his side. I managed to get a scholarship, so I left home for college as soon as I could. He stayed in my hometown, renting a place near my parents, paid for by them, of course. They all eventually stopped contacting me and never sent me any money for help. I live in another state now, and when I got married, my family was invited, but they didn't even bother showing up to the wedding. But beside all that, I have a great family with one beautiful child and another one on the way. And my husband has been nothing but amazing. Anyways, my parents are very traditional. Male head of the family tradition and all that crap. So my brother coming out as gay shocked them. They were furious because they demand blood-related descendants to carry on the family name. They aren't okay with my brother adopting or surrogating, and they will only accept a proper marriage. So out of the blue, my brother contacted me. Wow, like for part two. So, out of the blue, my brother contacted me. Apparently, my parents will disown him unless he fixes the relationship with me. He was freaking out because he lives off of their money and he's never worked. They want to fix the relationship so they can claim my children. They think that he's the only reason that I drifted from the family. But it's not just his fault. I actually really blame my parents. He actually flew to my state and cried a lot, blaming all of his bullying on the stress from being in the closet. Yada, yada, yada. I told him to F off. My family is dead to me and I don't care about him. Well, now he's saying that I'm petty and he's saying it's ridiculous that I'm willing to ruin an adult's life over childhood slights. Also, now he's randomly saying that I'm homophobic because I won't support him. It's nothing to do with the fact that he's gay. I just hate him as a person. I absolutely refuse to be back in contact with my parents, especially since the only reason they want a relationship with me is because they want blood-related grandbabies now that their golden child has failed them. So am I the asshole for refusing to let my family back into my life? Am I the asshole for refusing to give my niece our dog's room? For the past month, my 24-year-old niece has been living with us. I'll call her princess because that's what her parents call her most of the time. She's a medical researcher and took up a position near where we live. My sister convinced me to let her stay so she can save money. I was apprehensive because I know this girl has been coddled and baby since she was little. We have a four bedroom house, me, my husband, my 16 year old son, and my 21 year old daughter, and then our four year old Rottweiler, Pretty. I told my sister that Princess would have to sleep on the sofa in the living room, which she seemed okay with. But when she arrived, both mother and daughter set about trying to convince me to clear out the dog's room and let her sleep in it. Princess even said it would be okay to make him sleep outside because it's just a dog. I would never make my dog sleep outside. I told Princess- So like I was saying, I told my niece that she is not sleeping in my dog's room. If she was going to be in my house, she was going to sleep on the couch. Take it or leave it. Then she started complaining about how we think a dog is more important than her. In all honesty, I was right in thinking having Princess stay was going to be more trouble than it's worth. She goes out clubbing and partying a lot and makes no effort to keep it down when she comes home at like 2 in the morning. Ever since she got here, the living room always smells of weed. And that smell definitely wasn't there before she came. She's also rude to my kids. My daughter got engaged and we were all delighted. But Princess was lovely enough to say that if her boyfriend had gotten her a cheap ring like that, she wouldn't have even gotten out of bed for the wedding. My daughter was in tears because of this. So me and her husband had a word with Princess, who then cried and phoned up her mother saying that we were rude to her talked to my sister again today and she's still trying to convince me to put her daughter in the dog's room. I made it clear that that wasn't happening and my sister got upset at me saying how nasty it is to value a pet over family. I told her it was only a matter of time before I was going to kick Princess out on the streets. Is that mean? Am I the a -hole for telling my friend that she overreacted to hearing my brother say something racist? So yesterday my family had a barbecue and I invited a work colleague. She and I have been friendly with each other lately and I thought it would be a fun time. So we went out to my parents' house. While we were there, some of my parents' neighbors were driving fast around the neighborhood. My brother said, I am so sick of those effing N-words. And my friend was shocked. She's white by the way and we're Hispanic. Well, okay, white Hispanic, but Hispanic nonetheless. 
She looked at me and then said, excuse me, to my brother. She said that that was racist and rude. My brother didn't care and he said the word again. Then she turned to me and said that she was leaving. She called an Uber and left without even eating or saying goodbye to anyone. Later that night, I texted her and said that she overreacted and it was just a word. And he wasn't calling anyone specifically that. He was just frustrated because those are the same people that always speed through the neighborhood. I told her she was acting immature and she needs to grow up. I tried texting her again later, but my message didn't say delivered, so I think she blocked me. I didn't see her today at work, but I did get a call from another coworker asking me what happened. Apparently, this bitch told the others that me and my family are racist. Am I the asshole for not going to my daughter's 16th birthday? This happened a month ago, but my daughter still isn't talking to me, so I decided to ask here. I have two daughters from two different relationships. E, female 14, and R, female 16. R lives in another city with her mom. I only have her in the summers and on holidays. E lives with me full time as her mom passed away a few years ago. E and R don't really get along at all. When they're both with me, they try to avoid each other as much as they can and they barely spend any time together. The girl's birthdays are two weeks apart. I was talking to R about her birthday party and she was very excited and couldn't stop talking about it. At the end of our call, she told me that she was going to have her birthday two weeks after the real day, which meant that it would be on the same day as E's birthday. I reminded her that that was E's birthday and asked her if there was any reason why she can't have her party on her actual birthday or the weekend or even the next week or I don't know, any other day besides that day. She didn't have a good reason. She only said that she wanted it to be that day. I tried to convince her to change the day, but she wouldn't change her mind. I asked E if she would change her plan so that we could celebrate her birthday another day, but she refused. So I called R and told her that I'm not going unless she changes the date because one, she could choose any day and she knew that it was E's birthday. Two, E wasn't invited and I thought it was very cruel of her to leave her alone on her birthday. And three, because this way they would each have one parent with them, which would be fair. She started screaming at me and called me an asshole for choosing E over her. Now I'm starting to feel bad because it is her 16th birthday, so I know it's a milestone to her, but I still think that I made the right choice. But both R and her mom disagree, so am I the asshole?